Right now we have about five to 10 different species. Uh, because we live in the desert, because Arizona State is uh, in a, a very arid desert climate, we, we study a lot of the arid type spiders. Our group is really trying to understand at a molecular level uh, the proteins that make up spider silk in their structure. One spider produces six different types of silk that vary hugely in their properties from something like a dragline silk where you can knock it off a limb and it catches itself and this has a tensile strength per weight higher than steel to ones like a flagella type silk which is what it uses to make a spiral of its web that's more elastic than a rubber band. You have to kind of catch the spider um, in their little cage and we use that uh, Tupperware cup to kind of corral them into there. Once we have them in that cup, we bring them over to the CO2 tank, which is connected to the lid of that cup. Once we have them in there, we uh, give them some CO2 gas. And once they're knocked out, then we can put them onto the, this Petri dish and lay them on their back. And then we have time to tape down their legs before they eventually wake up. So here we can just see their silk and grab it under the microscope a lot easier. And we just kind of lead it on. Part of my research related to the spider silk is understanding the uh, uh, structure, the high order structure and dynamics of the uh, spider silk proteins. At the beginning, I uh, I was I was really scared by them, but now they're just the spider are my friends. <laughs> we have very creative students. Um, you know, we're in a chemistry department, but, but as you can see, I mean, we work with the biology problem. Um, it, you know, they're creative. They, they learn everything from how to take care of a spider to how to do complicated physical characterization like nuclear magnetic resonance. Specifically, Arizona State uh, has one of the best environments for transdisciplinary-based research. And this research is incredibly diverse from needing to know the entomology and biology of spiders, to understanding its chemical makeup and properties, to the physics and engineering that makes these fibers so unique. ASU gives us a very unique platform to be able to bring in scientists with expertise in many of these different fields to help us with this research.